you have something called my apps over there on your computer, uh, Seneca computers, okay? So you're gonna uh, log into my apps. Well, obviously, it's gonna ask for my, you're gonna log into my apps. Did it, oh, log me in, hallelujah, okay? And in here, you're gonna type, you're gonna type, Notepad and Notepad plus plus comes up. You launch that, so you're gonna have Notepad plus plus. Okay, so that's the first thing you're gonna do. When you launch Notepad, then you minimize this. You don't or not minimize. You just close it. You don't need my apps anymore. That has to be closed. So where is it? So after you did that, Notepad plus plus runs. That's Notepad plus plus. Okay. Because you are writing C programs, immediately you go file, save as, and name it something, wherever you want. It doesn't matter because you're not submitting that. It's just to activate its syntax, activate its syntax highlighting, which means you're just going to write over here prg.c and save it. So now when I say over here, in, when I say over here include ios, uh, <laughs> Uh, standard input output dot h, it actually syntax highlights it for you. And then you say over here int main, you see it, it becomes a syntax highlighted thing so you can program in it easily. Okay? So that's that. So you just create something to, for it to get ready. Then you open up your subject thingy that I removed so I have to probably go to previous semesters. Then you open up your your test, I think I have to go to previous semesters, uh, courses, uh, oh, courses, let me go to previous semester and say OOP244. I think I had a demo thingy over there too. No demo? Darn it. Where did I put the demo? Um, sorry about that. Let me pause it. Let me pause the recording. So you open up your test. You put the test at left. You put the test at left, and you put this one at right, and you adjust the, the, the size to whatever you want. Then you start the test, and when you are answering the question, so in here it's a question, you do the exact same thing. So you see what the question is. You answer the question the way you're supposed to, whatever you want to write. So um, you answer the question, whatever. I'm going to write over here, uh, int i set to 0, and for i set to 0, i less than 20, and i plus plus. As you see, it's perfectly syntax highlighted, and it does all the good stuff that you're supposed to do when you are programming. So in here, I'm going to say printf doing fake test, and I'll go to no line. So this is what I do, and after I'm finished, when, I, when you want to submit, then that's the time you click on this one. Obviously, you can make it smaller so you can see properly. You click on this one, you select C, then you copy this over here, you paste it over here, you say save. Done. So from now on, this is how you are going to submit it. And these are the only two windows you're allowed to have open on your computer when you are doing the test. Nothing else. Nothing. So if I detect, I can lock you up and not allow any other application to, think, to run, but I hope that we are all mature people, okay? So obviously, I have your windows on my computer. I can see what you're having open. As if I see something is open, then I'm going to get really pissed. But please, don't do that. So these are the only things you have open, and you're going to do the test. It's completely closed book. You don't need anything. Uh, probably, I'm just going to give you a crib sheet for you to, to do your dirty stuff if you want to do some you know, rough work or whatever you want to do. You can do it, and this is how you're going to do it. And that's, that's going to make your life easier instead of opening and editing over there. You have your question, you write your answer at the same time, and you copy and paste. And after doing this, I will not accept anything that is not submitted like this.
if you give me some straight thingy or empty spaces between them. As soon as I see, let me tell you this, as soon, you see I just copied and how it got copied, right? As soon as I see this, some people, like, as soon as I see something like this comes in. And you know, whoever you are out there and you did this, when I see this, you know what does it mean? You copied it from web. I want proper formatting in the code. I see stuff like this, I'm not going to even mark it. It has to be perfect because you're on a computer. It's not a, I, it doesn't have to be, it, that printf could be printf. This for could be fur. I don't care. Those things are fine. If you are not typing, you have misspelling stuff, absolutely no problem. But if I see something like this, I'm not going to mark it. Or if I see everything stuck to left, I'm not going to mark it. Yes? No, no, no. You, you know what I mean. Like, okay, that's okay, the, okay. The, you, have you ever submitted something like Nothing this? Like that. That's modern. That's modern. That's modern. Now, what I mean is that when, when you have exactly four spaces between each line, it means you copied it from your whatever. Okay? So, and then you go under microscope till the end of the semester. I'm not joking. Okay? So that's that. That's all I want. And I'm going to make this. So what I'm going to do for the next quiz, I'm going to give you the question before the quiz. So you're going to have the question. You have a day to work on it. Very simple question. See what the answer is. Have everything ready. Nicely done. Then you, you're you going to do this at home, uh, but in this fashion. So you learn so you can do it uh, at school too. That question or similar question? No, exact question. I, you, I just want you to, I just want you to suspect the scam. Do you think I should answer that? Anyway, so, <laughs> so, so yeah, so yeah, so what I'm saying is that, so that's how you're going to do it through the test. Like that, you're going to have a peace of mind because you have the question at left side and you have everything over there. If you are to copy something, like if I give you a piece of code and I'll tell you I want you to get this piece of code and do something, you can actually open it up, copy it and paste it in here and continue your work over there so you can do all these things. But then you don't have to copy the whole question over there. Okay? Another comment that I want to make Please do not write the story of your lives when you are giving me answer to the question. Like I see writes a for loop and then at the top it writes, this is a for loop that counts. I know that's a for loop and I know it repeats five times. After 20 years of C programming, I know that. You don't need to write that for me. Okay? So please. Do not do that unless I ask you. If I give you a piece of code and as a question I say, describe in detail what this code is doing, you then, yes, do it. But when you are writing me code, please do not. It's just, that just spams it, you know? Okay, that's all. That's the thing. So this is how you're going to do it. I'm going to stop.